Good morning, Summit County. Welcome to another beautiful fall day here at the Dillon Dam Brewery. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up in the near future. First uh, coming out of the barrel here, we've got our Wet Hop IPA. It's a small batch, but we are hoping to upgrade that situation here in the very near future as well. Get back to that later. The Wet Hop IPA uses over 40 pounds of fresh hand-picked organic Colorado growing hops. They're picked in the morning and they're in the boil by about two in the afternoon, which gives us the freshest, uh, just zestiest, uh, most incredible hop flavor that you can put in IPA. It's coming in uh, about 7%, very light blonde, so uh, there's no malt to interfere with all that hop deliciousness. Uh, looking forward to that coming up soon here. And as I was saying, we only get about five barrels out of that because we've been brewing our small batch uh, experimental seasonals into this little tiny propagator that was really made to make more yeast, not really made to make seasonal beers. So we're replacing this with a tall skinny guy that is gonna give us a 15 barrel capacity on a lot of these small batch seasonals that we do. Uh, the goal here, of course, is that more people get to try this delicious beer. We've, uh, we've had way too many of them run out in three or four or five days. And uh, it's just sad to see a delicious beer gone that fast. So we're hoping to make those last for 15 or 20. Should be good times coming ahead. Uh, another seasonal we've got fermenting right now is our 2020 double IPA. Uh, it was a celebration of our 2000th batch of beer here at the Dan Brewery. We, uh, Decided to go with the uh, kind of the standard uh, double IPA, I guess. Lots of people like to do this for their anniversary. We kind of went off the deep end a little bit. We uh, were shooting for nine, ten percent. It was a mountain of hops. It is so hoppy that when I walk into the brewery right now, I can smell the hop freshness bubbling through the bleach water from the fermentation process. It is going to be delicious. And if you're a hop head, you're going to love it. If you don't like hops, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, it's definitely gonna be one of those love it or hate it type of beers. Uh, also coming up shortly, uh, October of course, and with that Oktoberfest is a uh, light brown lager, super slow fermented at uh, just barely, barely in the high 40s, low 50 degrees. It's been going for over a month now. It's gonna be a very clean German lager with a nice spicy German hop balance to it. Very drinkable, a little bit higher alcohol, uh, you know, help us uh, keep us warm on these cool fall nights, despite uh, how beautiful it is right now. This is fall in the Summit County. 